Have you wanted to bring your PDFs over to Foundry VTT? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you just how to do that. And not only that, I will also show you how to bring in form fillable PDFs. Hi, my name is Fondu. I run this channel called Dice and Easy, where I give you Foundry VTT tutorials, TTRPG tips and tricks, and daily TTRPG memes as YouTube shorts. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button down there. Now, before we jump into me showing you how to bring a PDF over to Foundry VTT, this is assuming that you're using Foundry version 10 because in Foundry version 10, PDF support is built into Foundry Core. If you are using an earlier version of Foundry VTT, this unfortunately will not work. And for the form fillable PDF part, you're gonna need a module called PDF Pager. I will leave a link to that down below in the description box. Now then, let's get started shall we? All right, here we are in Foundry VTT once again, and let me show you how to bring a PDF over to Foundry. First, we're going to head on over to the Journals tab over here, and we're going to create a new journal entry. We can call this whatever we want. We're going to call it PDF Test. You can put it in a folder if you would like, and then we create the journal entry. Now, this is going to open the journal page, which has been revamped in Foundry version 10 to be way more robust than it used to be. It is Pretty fantastic already outside, out of the box directly. And then we're gonna go down here to add page. This is gonna let you add a page into your journal entry and you can decide what type of page it's going to be. So we're gonna give it the page name. We're gonna call this PDF test again as well. And here in type, you can see there's an image type, PDF, very nice text, video and class summary. So we're gonna choose PDF of course, and then create new page. Now it's going to open this little window that's going to be asking you for the PDF source. So we're going to browse files. Then I have chosen that I'm going to put in this PDF. It's the cycle, which is an alternate way for handling deaths in D&D &D by Abyssal Brew. So this gives you an alternate way to handle deaths. But anyway, let's continue. So I choose the PDF. If you don't have it here, of course, you will have to choose a file to upload, wait for it to upload and then select it and then select file. Then once you are back here, it's not in there yet. You have to remember to press save entry. And now you can see, oh, there's something there. So if we close this, you can see now there's a little button here that says load PDF. You hit that. The PDF loads in. And here we are. We have a full on PDF with inside Foundry without any need for any extra work, any modules or anything. Isn't that neat? But I will show you the module that I mentioned earlier, PDF Pager, which will allow you to use form fillable PDFs. So first, of course, we need to turn on the module. So remember to do that because otherwise it's not going to work. And then I'll show you how it works. So let me just turn that on real quick. Okay, we're back after enabling PDF Pager. I want to show you a little cool thing that PDF Pager does before we do the form fillable thing. Uh, firstly, usually when you open up a PDF, the little button that says load is here. So every time you close your journal entry, you're going to have to reload the PDF. But with PDF Pager, you can set it to automatically load when you open your journal entry. So you don't have to do that manually. It's just a nice little thing that I thought I'd mention just a little quality of life thing but then to the form fillable pdfs so you might want to bring in a character sheet for example for dnd pathfinder or whatever game you're playing and you want to fill in that specific character sheet well with pdf pager link in the description you can do exactly that but you're wondering well how do i do that with pdf pager here's how you do it First, I'm going to be using D&D 5e character sheet as an example here. And the first thing that we want to do is go to the settings. So here, game settings, configure settings, and then go to PDF pager. It's a fairly long settings part, but do not be afraid. I will show you exactly what to do. The first thing that we're going to want to do is go down here and go to PDFs for actor sheets and then actor sheet player character. So what this section essentially is, is it sets the PDF template for all of the different types of actors that you can have. So player character, non-player character, vehicle and group for all of them in your game. So then if you create a player character, you'll be able to select this PDF template as the form fillable PDF. So for the actor, this will be what your players always are. You will go into browse files, then you will add 
the file that you want to use. Remember to use a form fillable PDF, otherwise it won't work. I have the character sheet form fillable for 5e here. So if you don't have it already in your, your foundry, just upload it through file button and then select file. Now it has been set. Remember to hit save changes down here. Do not just close it, otherwise your settings will not be saved. There we go. So now that we have that set, we can create a new actor for ourselves. So let's do that. We'll call this PDF Testerson. That's a name. And then remember the type is very important here. So player character is the type that you want. Create new actor. So now you're going to see your usual character sheet for 5e. Well, this does not look like the form fillable PDF. Worry not. You just go up here to the little cog that says sheet, click there, and then this sheet, change it to PDF sheet, save sheet configuration. It's going to load and boom, there you have it. Now you have the form fillable PDF here. You can of course zoom this to make it bigger. And if you want to write anything in the fields, you can do that. I can write a barbarian one here. I can write the race to be elf. I can write the strength to be, let's say 14. And it's going to update that little thing over there too. You can see strength updated there very nicely. So that's how you have it working. If you ever need to have a custom PDF that is just for one specific character, there is a little button here called custom PDF where you can do just that, where you use a form fillable PDF for just one specific actor. So if you want to override the template. However, there is a small thing we need to do before this is ready to use. Now, as you can see, these fields here are form fillable and you can see the numbers are updating, but some of them are not working quite as expected right now. We're gonna have to go do a little fix because these are not mapped correctly currently. And what mapping means is that the strength field here, for example, example will correspond to the strength field over here for example right now they are corresponding which is good but some of the fields are not currently working as expected so to fix that once again we go to the settings configure settings find pdf pager should be open by default if you haven't touched anything and then here you see this field field mappings for actors now this is where all your field mappings are. This is a very, very small field to actually change anything in. So we don't want to change the stuff here in Foundry. What we want to do is click on this field, Control A to select everything, Control C to copy this, and then open your favorite notepad or text editor of choice. Mine is Notepad++ that I like to use. So we're gonna open a new page there and boom, copy paste that over here. Here you can then fix the mappings. Now you're of course thinking, well, how do I know what to map to what? Well, you can see that quite easily. So here you can see system.abilities.strength.value. This is the foundry field. Here you're going to see how to recognize which field belongs to which field <laughs> in the PDF. So here we see str. So this is the strength field in the PDF, which is currently mapped to, you can see the colon here, to system.abilities.strength.value. That is the foundry field. So currently the strength fields in both correspond to each other, which is good. And then we can see dexterity is corresponding to dexterity, constitution to constitution, etc. I'm gonna go through these and check that they are all corresponding to the correct thing. And you should do the same for your PDF fields as well to make sure that everything is aligned correctly. So I'll see you in just a second as I fix these. All right, now that we've fixed all the stuff over here that we want to fix, this of course is going to vary what type of form fillable sheet you're using and which game system you're using. So let's hit Control A in your text editor and Control C again, close that. Then go back to the field mappings for actors field, Control A, Control V, and then save changes. All right, now we have this back here again. So let's change our character sheet to the PDF sheet. It's going to load in and there we have it. So you can fill in whatever data you want here. For example, let's have a strength of 14, dexterity of 16, constitution of 12, intelligence is eight, then wisdom is 12 and charisma is 10, let's say. All right, so you can see that most of the stuff here came in all right. Uh, deception, for example, is not coming in correctly, nor is 
history. So this module is not perfect. It works fairly well, but it is not perfect. It will try to bring in the information as best as possible. Like dexterity here, for example, for some reason, we don't have a number there, now we do boom, fix it, but it's still, it's not propagating quite perfectly. But if you want to have a form fillable character sheet in whatever game system you're using, you can do that. So the example was for D&D &D with the D&D &D 5e game system, but you can do it with Pathfinder, with the Pathfinder form fillable sheet and their game system or whatever game you want to use. But just beware that it's a little bit wonky. It's not perfect, but it's there if you would like to use it. And there you have it. That's how you bring in PDFs over to Foundry VTT and how you bring in form fillable PDFs for your character sheets for Foundry VTT. Did you find that useful? Are you a person that would like to use form fillable PDFs in Foundry VTT? Leave a comment down there. And while you're down there as well, I would appreciate a like and subscribe as this channel is a passion project of mine and I'm trying to grow it. And we're getting very close to 1000 subscribers and I will do something special for that. I don't know what yet, but something special is coming your way. And hey, I also stream on twitch.tv slash Dice and Easy every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern European Standard Time. So you should come over there and chat with me because I love talking about Foundry and TTRPGs and all kinds of stuff. And on the screen right now, you're going to see another video of mine where I show you a bunch of cool Foundry VTT modules that you should definitely check out. All right, then I hope you have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.